What's going on, guys? Good morning. Looking at Casper slash Tether USDT this morning, dailycharttradingview.com. Welcome to the channel. All of the new subs appreciate all of you. Pretty wild day yesterday for Casper, to say the least. If we take a look at the yesterday's candle, which was the 2nd of December, Casper had a pretty big day. It was probably down about 9% at one point. Had a 9% range yesterday. Looks like we closed at the top of the range, which is good after especially being down that much. You can see we closed in the top end of the range. Let me zoom in here. We also went below 0.284 support and closed above it. So that is now support. We are in between two ranges. We are in between 0310 and 0284, ping ponging in between those two levels. As you can see here, we hit the lower end of the range. Now we're back up into the mid to high end of this range here. So yesterday was let me delete this off the chart. Yesterday was a similar day to the, what we saw over in here on the 26th of November. Big, big candle to the upside closed in the bottom end of the range. And then yesterday, the 2nd of December, big candle wick to the downside and closed in the top end of the range. So there is some serious whipsawing going on within this price area on the Casper chart. We almost put it in a new low yesterday, but we didn't. So that is bullish. We put in a higher low. Yesterday's low was higher than the low over in the 17th of November. That low was 265. Yesterday's low was 269. Very close. Does count as a higher low. We still wait for the next higher high to come in we got a break above 310 heading up towards that 334 level right here on the chart and that is pretty much it here definitely holders of casper are experiencing some extreme volatility through november through november and apparently early December. So the levels to watch that I am watching anyways are 284 and 310 right now. And if we blast higher, 334, 363, all above the market that have come into play in the late November time frame right here on the 26th. If we break to the downside, Next support, obviously, is 284, below that 262. That would give us a new lower low. Not good for the bulls, but that's what would be taking place if that happened. All right, guys, going to wrap it up. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. If you are not yet subscribed, go ahead, consider doing so. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend, and we'll be back with some more videos.